cuckolding has been around for eons. Um, the history of it goes way, way, way back uh, it, as a shaming practice uh, for um, a, a wife who cheats on her husband. And um, But it's evolved into uh, this very kind of sexy, kind of fun, kind of thing that couples can try. I've talked to a lot of people who've said, I was into this before I even knew it had a name. Like we were doing this before we even knew that other people do this. So <laughs> I think it's been around for a long time. It's just has the dialogue hasn't been there. It really had, I don't think was represented in um, very much. And then now it seems like I've heard this. A lot of swinger couples, the husband's realizing he really enjoys watching his wife more than he enjoys. He gets more satisfaction from that than from other women. And so this is kind of like evolving, I think, from that community as well, and and which is great. Um, but it's wildly popular. It's amazing. And Dr. Justin Lay Miller, who did a massive study on um, American sexual fantasies, and he wrote a book, Tell Me What You Want, and he uh, he surveyed people. It was a big survey. He, he asked people about cuckolding fantasies, and it was amazing how many guys are thinking about this. And often it was something like, uh, it was over over 50% or something like that of guys who are thinking about this often. And then um, only about a third of women and not as often, but still that number is to me quite high. <laughs> so <laughs> it's definitely popular and people are thinking about it. And I do think that guys have this very visceral, guys who are turned on by this anyway, have this very visceral kind of reaction that is is it's hard to ignore <laughs> when you have like uh, your you know hardest erection and biggest orgasm you ever had thinking about your wife sleeping with another guy that's hard to ignore so it is a very kind of um, impactful kind of fantasy for them so it's hugely wildly popular I think it's just getting more and more popular yeah I mean you know you mentioned about it being you know having been around for a long time and as an English major, I can tell you that there is so many references to cuckolding in um, ancient literature. Um, in fact, I'm actually reading from um, the UB English website. Um, the term cuckold is all over medieval and early modern literature. In fact, it isn't too much of an exaggeration to say that the huge percentage of early modern human revolves around ridiculing cuckolds. Um, cuckoldry is everywhere from the Canterbury Tales to Shakespeare's sonnets and plays. So it's definitely something that we've seen, you know, happening for a long time. 